بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہاور یو ویلکم ٹو ویک تھری کلاس سوشل اسٹڈی کلاس دس ویک آر ٹاپک از میپ آف پاکستان اینڈ ادر ٹاپک از انڈور اینڈ آؤٹ ڈور گیمس سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ آر فرسٹ ٹاپک ڈیفینیشن آف میپ بفور ڈیفینیشن آئی گو یو بریف انٹروڈکشن آف میپ آف پاکستان A map is a drawing of all our part of Earth's surface. Students, it beca- uh, it, its basic purpose is to show where things are. Maps may also show visible features such as rivers, li- uh, lakes, forests, buildings and roads. Students, so today our topic is map of Pakistan. We will also learn about the provinces and capitals that how many provinces are there in Pakistan. what is the name of its capital capital etc all these you will learn in today's lesson so now we are going to start with definition of map our first definition is a map is a drawing of a particular area such as a country city or a continent then a map is an image of an area areas usually of the earth are part of the earth then a map is a visual representation of an entire area or a part of an area then we have map of pakistan pakistan officially the islamic republic of pakistan is a country in south asia pakistan came into being on 14 august 1947 There are four provinces and a capital city of Islamabad. You can see four uh, provinces in this map. KPK has green color in this map. Punjab has yellow. Um, Balochistan has uh, red. And Sindh has purple color. Now, Pakistan shares its border with four countries iran china india and afghanistan at the south we have the arabian sea there are beautiful valleys mountains rivers deserts in pakistan our next topic is provinces of pakistan there are four provinces in pakistan baluchistan khyber pakhtunkhwa punjab sindh so in this uh, uh, map you can see you can see different colors of provinces you can also see farta the tribal areas gilgit baltistan and azad jammu and jammu kashmir so in this map baluchistan is the largest province of its area by its area kpk khyber pakhtunkhwa is the smallest province with farta farta or tribal areas which is now merged with this province students kpk shares its border with afghanistan the next province in the map is punjab which have the most fertile land there are five rivers in this province it shares borders with india you have learned about baluchistan and khyber pakhtunkhwa and now we i am going to tell you about next province in this map is sindh which is the cradle of civilization and is also called the land of sufism in this picture of our then we have baluchistan It is the southwestern province of Pakistan and the largest province by area. The people are very hard working. Quetta is the prov- uh, provincial capital. It is also popular for its fresh and dry fruits. Most of the people speak Balochi. So this was a, a description a description of Balochistan. Then we have Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. This is the map of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa as you can see in this picture. It is the land of Pakhtun or Patans. This is the northwestern province of Pakistan. Peshawar is the capital city. 
the people of this province are very beautiful hard working and famous for their hospitality famous places of this province are bala hisar fort kisa khwani bazar islamia college and masjid mohabbat khan are some famous places then we have punjab you can see the map of punjab literally means the land of five rivers punjab means five rivers it is the most fertile land of pakistan people speak punjabi here and many and have many colorful traditions lahore is the capital city of this province students punjab is a punjab is famous for its industrial and agriculture products badshahi masjid minare pakistan wagha border are some famous places in punjab then you can see map of sindh and in sindh it is the south eastern province of pakistan the provincial capital is karachi it is the most populated province most of the people speak sindhi the the famous places are karachi port and mazar e qaif then you can see the capital capital city is islamabad so it is the beautiful and modern city all the foreign offices embassies prime minister president parliament house and national assemblies buildings are situated here faisal faisal masjid damniko shakarpadia are some famous places located in islamabad so this is the picture of our capital city islamabad our first capital city was karachi but later on in 1960 islamabad became our capital city so students this was the topic map of pakistan all the uh, students all this was about the map that how important a map is for a country we should know about it because with without ha- knowing a map we do not know that how many countries share borders with us so this was the end of our part 1 topic our next topic is indoor and outdoor games this is our par- uh, part 2 topic uh, topic part 2 of week 3 so Our first topic is indoor games. Indoor games are those games which are played in a room by sitting there. Typically, any games which must be played inside. These games involve a very small play areas. You can see different indoor games uh, in uh, this picture. And we play. We play games because they make us happy. It can be something. you play for fun students games are fun and source of positive emotions it is a physical activity it can be indoor or outdoor so here you can see indoor games then you can see outdoor games outdoor games are typically any game which must be played outside or otherwise requires a large play area it can be played in a lawn or field mostly it takes a lot of people to play a single game in outdoor games you need so many players to play a single game and students here is a list of indoor games activities that will keep you happy and active that uh, that uh, those games are chess carrom ludo table tennis snooker squash bowling and badminton bowling means or cricket you can see so many pictures of indoor games sorry bowling is not a cricket it's other game cricket is outdoor game then we have list of outdoor games cricket hockey golf polo kabaddi football so here are some outdoor games 
this list uh, of outdoor games for you to have fun which will keep you busy for your uh, vacations so students that cricket hockey golf polo kabaddi football you can play these games in a big group or which with your siblings so so it was it will boost your physical as well as mental health level thank you this was the end of week 3 part 2 topic part 2 happy summer vacations and hope you will enjoy a lot in these vacations allah hafiz